Good day, my lovelies. Welcome to my YouTube page, Dragon Queen Creations. I wanted to share with you a little bit how I do my watercolor paintings, if you're interested. Please like and subscribe if you get a chance and if you like the video. Now, I start with watercolor paper. I like Arches watercolor paper a lot, and I use Faber-Castell markers, and I also use uh, Faber-Castell pencils, or I have a mechanical pencil that I use sometimes also. So Faber-Castell markers I will only use to do my outlines uh, for watercolor projects. That is because they're the only markers that I've found that do not smear or run. When I put them, you know, get them wet and put water over them, there you can see some of the marker lines there, some of the detail. They're super smooth and it's so satisfying to do the outlines with those. Um, and then here we are getting to painting. So I wet the background first. And to make it all fluid and kind of flow better and make the colors blend and a little bit softer like I want, I also use a little bit of synthetic ox gall that uh, I think makes <laughs> the paint kind of flow a little bit smoother is what it's supposed to do and just be a bit more flowy. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can check that out though. I do like using just a tiny bit of it uh, in my water as I go. So after I've done all of the water coloring that I want to do and layering, I'll go back and do white highlights. And then after the white highlights, I will finish uh, any other markering I need to do or redo that looks um, like it's faded or needs to be thickened or anything. So here you see the final product, my little hula bee girl. I appreciate you checking this out. If you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Have a great day.